Hi, I'm James Parry and I'm the chef founder of The Happy Crane. The Happy Crane is or has been a pop-up based in San Francisco. We showcase a modern Chinese tasting menu uh, of food and drinks. But where we're at now is we are raising investment as we move closer to our goal of becoming a San Francisco brick and mortar restaurant that really showcases what a Chinese restaurant dining experience can be. The last menu we did was based around uh, the Lunar New Year. So a lot of the dishes took inspiration from items that I personally, uh, as well as other people, might associate with uh, Chinese New Year festivities. And I guess the big element of that is nostalgic memories of what that time of the year brings to life in terms of the social side. Um, and of course, a big part of you know, Chinese New Year festivities are eating. Family is getting together and celebrating. And uh, it's, it's definitely a, a menu that I, I was excited to do and also was excited about the playfulness of it. I always associate with Chinese New Year is Lo uh, Go, the the radish cake. It might look simple, but there's a lot of preparation that goes into creating a, a radish cake like that. I kind of took its original form and played around with uh, the taste of it a little bit. I, I know traditionally we use lap chang, so the Chinese sweet uh, sausage, the blood sausage. I wanted to use chorizo. Uh, I, like, I like the smokiness that it imparts um, as a meat. We have um, other elements that are a little bit more modern. In this case, I use sakura shrimp which I think uh, adds a little bit of a sweeter note. We also use the rendered chorizo fat to cook the radish cake in to, to impart again a little bit more of that smoky flavor. And we serve that with a um, fermented uh, chili sauce. This was my ode to that, my own version. I fermented uh, some uh, habanero and serrano chilies and made our own chili uh, sauce out of it. So I think dim sum was was also something that I associated with that time of year. Uh, and for this menu, I I wanted to do a very classic uh, hog out, uh, which I know is might not seem that um, creative in some ways, but I really wanted to showcase the techniques that have gone into making this and also the ingredients as well. Yes, it, it looks simple, but actually it doesn't have to be super complicated. You know, like so we use wild shrimp. Obviously the skin I make myself and I want it to look and taste very clean and simple. I think another, another dish that we, we love um, and associate with uh, family gatherings is the steam fish. Simply served with a sweet, uh, sweetened soy and a sizzling uh, ginger and scallion. First of all, there's a lot we could do in terms of dim sums. There's a lot more creation, a lot more creativity that I see happening. But also a particular area that I'm really excited about is the roasted meat section of a, a Chinese restaurant, or a Cantonese restaurant, the siu mei. And I've tried to showcase some of that in some of my um, pop-up menus. In the Chinese New Year menu, we had the roasted quail, which was uh, very well received. But I think for the, the, the vision for the restaurant is to really um, showcase not just one item but like a, a breadth of roasted meats because I do think it's one of the core uh, components of Cantonese cuisine, like really well executed roasted meats, whether it's the um, seal yolk, the pork belly or the whole suckling pig or the char seal or the roasted chicken. We are, we're not seeing enough 
good versions of in the Bay Area. So I'm hoping that the Happy Crane is gonna really, really showcase that.